Swerve Strickland, the man who carried Defy on his back for years. Here are the fans, whose house? Swerve's house. No doubt about it, Washington Hall. Known as the house that Swerve built. No question about it, Defy wouldn't be where it is right now. Without the efforts of Swerve Strickland over the years. May have been anywhere in the world, Al. And you know that there are going to be a lot of eyes on this matchup. The Kingo Strickland, I mean, no doubt about it, two of the best in the sport today. Yeah, there's no question about that. The Kingo representing Triple A, Swerve Strickland representing the Bogle Embassy and AEW. AEW versus Triple A right here at Defy Wrestling here at Primo Lucha. This is going to be a hell of a matchup. Uh, the change in demeanor over the last year or two, Swerve Strickland, and you know, I mean, we saw what happened recently. Nick Wayne turning his his back on uh, on his longtime friend Darby Allen. And you got to imagine that Swerve was in Nick's head a little bit. Well, the thing is, Swerve has a lot to prove. He wants to be the first African American AEW World Champion. Right now, he's taking on the Kingo, which is a Triple A Mega Champion. Even though the title is not on the line, if he defeats Vikingo, could be a future shot at that title or any other title. I mean, Swerve is definitely a viable contender for any championship. Vikingo, oh, look at that. Stretching out Swerve. Nice counter. And what strength by Vikingo. Match this matchup, I mean, it's really got all the makings of, it could be high flying, it could be technical, it could be a knockout drag of out brawl, it could be all three. Vikingo slams on the brakes. Swerve stepped out of the way, but and, and I was talking to some people uh, about Swerve and, and about what, what kind of an effect he, he may have had on on Nick Wayne. I mean, let, let's face it, professional wrestling, dog eat dog. Sometimes you have to stab your friends in the back if you want to get ahead. I'm not saying that's the right thing to do. But, uh, you know, sometimes you, you have to look out for yourself and take matters into your own hands. And, and you wonder had, oh, if Nick would have gone that route without perhaps uh, swerve in his ear a little bit. It remains to be seen. Well, Swerve's a very influential person. Of course, Nick Wayne saw the, the success that Swerve was having with the change of attitude. Nick Wayne wants a piece of that pie. Nick Wayne wants to be a world champion. Once again, for Defy and anywhere else. Such a shock when Nick lost the Defy world title. Matchup against Kenta in Portland, Oregon. I mean, nobody saw that coming. <laughs> As we look forward to October, November, the 27th inside Washington Hall and November the 17th at the 18th. I mean, we, we wonder when, we, when will we see Kenta back in the United States to, to defend the belt? Well, Cody Chun has been calling out Kenta. He's going to have his hands full with Sonata. And get through Sonata and score the win and uh, build up that confidence. Yeah, it's got to make him the number one contender. And also the IWGP world title is on the line, I believe, correct? For that night. And Sonata is the IWGP world champion. Oh, oh. the Kingo lost his footing and Swerve takes advantage. Sometimes that happens with the uh, high risk maneuvers. This is the end of the night. The ropes might be a bit slippery. Oh, look at that. What a kick by Vikingo. Vikingo 
full head of steam. Oh, what a dive knocks Swerve right out. Big flying shoulder tackle and Vikingo in charge. Landing on his feet too. Just good confirmation, the IWGP title will not be on the line in that matchup, Sonata and Cody Chun. But I mean, like you were saying, if Cody's able to win that matchup, not only knock it off Sonata if he's able to do that, but as the 8X GP winner, hang on. Oh! What an echo. You put those two things together, a win over Sonata and being the 8X GP winner, I would have to put him in contention for a shot at Kenta. We'll see. No doubt about it. Can't wait for that matchup. Kenta taking the Defy World Championship all over Japan, all over the world. The action spilling to the outside. The Kingo. Going to change the, oh, the direction of the matchup. Oh, with that big flying shoulder tackle, but Swerve might have just flipped the, the tables right there. The Kingo whipped into the crowd, and oh no, here we go. It's gonna be a fight outside. The action wild and uh, no doubt there will be some discretion with the count. The referee's gonna let these two go at it to a decisive outcome. Inside the ring, they might set the seats on fire in this place if, if they're counted out, Al. Well, I think the referee will have some leniency towards the count especially if this is the main event here at Primo Lucha. Well, these two are just going at it. Oh, my goodness, look out. What the hell is Vikingo doing? Incredible balance. Oh, man. man. Huge impact. Uh-oh. Vikingo trying to off the ante. Fans scattering, trying to get out of the way. That trash can being wielded. Swerve and Vikingo brawling all around the building here in Yakima, Washington. Referee trying to get them back, at least inside the barricade, yeah, at least if not back inside the ring. Slowly turning to a hardcore match, finally back in the ring, both individuals. Vikingo gonna go for another high risk maneuver. The rope's a bit slippery in that corner. Yeah. Kingo doing his best to balance himself, but you're right, I mean, been a long night. The ropes, no doubt, are a bit slippery. The Kingo, here he comes, big frog splash. Is that enough? Swerve out of it at two. The Kingo, a guy traveling all around the globe, competed in Tokyo. GCW had a long flight to get here. Yeah, much like Gringo Loco just uh, last night wrestling at GCW. I mean, Swerve, he's a few hours drive pretty much for him, right? From Tacoma. Mikingo in charge here. Swerve, this has an uncanny ability to find ways back into matches, but we will be able to do it tonight. The Kingo is so high impact. Left himself open a little bit there, and Swerve made a pay. Oh, the Kingo with a super kick. Swerve time that, the Kingo. Oh, up on his shoulders, Swerve. Oh, look out. Oh, wow. Vikingo now swerve, plants Vikingo, my goodness! And a match that is spilled all around the arena that has seen Vikingo leaping off railings, wielding trash cans as weapons. Who has the edge? Well, now Swerve first to his feet. The Kingo still down. 
I would say Swerve is in control at the moment. Yeah, but that can change on a dime. Both of these two with the smarts and the ability quickly change the trajectory of a matchup. Come on! one encounter between these two, and it's happening right here at the five. Oh, what strength by Vikingo. What is he gonna go for here? Oh! Swerve planted. Vikingo, super kick, swerve out cold. That's gonna do it. But Vikingo not done. Takes an extra second to balance himself, and now Vikingo, incredible oh. cover. Swerve on a two. Come on. Unbelievable, I could not believe Swerve kicked out of that one. Vikingo can't either. I believe the ropes might be a little a little slippery with all the sweat. Or else Vikingo what it might have gone for that, that 7.30. Running double stomp. Trying to put Swerve in position, and Swerve knew what might have been coming. Oh! Swerve trying to gain control. Very dangerously. And Vikingo hanging on to that ring post for dear life. That smart move by Vikingo. Couple of back elbows, mule kick, swerve down to the mat. Vikingo looking to balance himself. Whoa! Poison Rana! Spiked him. And now Vikingo. Shooting star press, this could be it. Strickland says no! Multiple high risk moves by Vikingo, but still could not put Swerve away. This is Swerve's house. This is Defy Wrestling. What a main event here at Primo Lucha. First time ever these two battle one on one. Vikingo going for broke with this. Again, trying to balance himself. It's taking him some time. Swerve back to his feet. Oh. Uh oh. Swerve catches him. Oh, man. Oh. Whoa, look out. Swerve. Oh. oh. Valley driver right on the apron. You talk about a game changer. There it is. And Vikingo's legs might have hit the uh, turnbuckle pad or the corner. It's a rough landing for Vikingo. Swerve going up top. Swerve stomp on the way. Nobody home. Vikingo had it scouted. Oh, what a big kick. Oh, right in the chin. It's over. No! Oh. Oh, man. I thought that was it, Rich. You and everybody else here. Unbelievable. I was about to announce him as the winner. Oh, 
We've not seen the JML driver from Swerve. We've not seen the 630 Centon from Vikingo. Swerve looking for a power bomb. Vikingo trying to fight his way out of it. Ooh. Oh man. Swerve thinking. Oh, well, Vikingo trapping the arm. Submission. Swerve trying to find a way out. Swerve's thinking about it. Is he going to top out? Is he going to power through here? Looking at deadlift of Vikingo with one arm as Vikingo still has the other arm trapped. Swerve, oh, over to the buckles. Oh, man. Tying Vikingo up in the ropes. Vikingo had the arm trapped. Swerve with his back to his opponent. Doesn't realize that Vikingo's going up top. Oh, man. A low blow from Swerve. Vikingo coming off the top and Swerve booted him right between the legs. And now trying to set up for the JML driver. Oh, that's oh. gonna be 